Isang magandang magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Another week, another fun episode of Monday Jukebox. Napakasaya kasi na kasi masisimula na naman ang ating linggo with fun, joy and most especially music. Of course, tamang-tama ka dyan, Kyla. Totoong mag enjoy ang bawat isa sa atin, lalo ng ating viewers sa magaganap for tonight. Oo nga, grabe, Anayi, no? Nakaka-excite naman iyan. Pero ang dami ata nating pakulong ngayong gabi. Talagang makami, Kyla. Ang makakasama kasi natin ay hindi lang isa, kundi dalawa siguradong aabangan niya ng bawat isa sa atin. Mm-mm, wow! Dalawang ating makakasama ngayon. Kaya naman sa ating viewers, maya-maya na lang ay ipapakilala na namin sila sa inyo. Pero bago iyan, balikan lang natin ang mga kaganapan these past few weeks. Ang dami na nating nakilala at nakasamang artist gaya ni na Jasmine Villanueva, Neron, Tev at Uniko Iho. Indeed, Kyla, naging fruitful ang ating Mondays because of these talented artists. Tumpak na tumpak, ngunit bago tayo magsimula, syempre ay magpapakilala muna tayo. I am Kyla and my pronouns are she, they. I'm Anayi, my pronouns are she and they, and we are your hosts for tonight. Wow naman, masaya kami dahil kasama namin kayo ngayon. Pero, matanong muna kita Anayi, ano ba ang inaabangan natin sa gabi nito? Naku, ang dami kong inaabangan, Kyla, pero hindi ko muna siguro ikichika dahil lahat ng ganit natin for tonight will surely be fun and exciting. Kaya dapat abangan rin yan ng mga live viewers natin. Grabe naman iyan. Pero alam mo, bukod sa sinabi mo, isa rin sa mga inaabangan ko ay ang reaction at comment ng ating viewers, lalo na mamaya. Super! At syempre bilang hosts, alam naman natin na hindi kayo makapaghintay sa mga kaganapan sa gabing ito. Kaya naman, ipakikikilala na namin sa inyong ating guests for tonight. This Monday, we introduce to everyone our first artist from Tai Tai Design. As a musician, her music is based on her experiences and sentiments. In addition, she is open to learning other genres and musical styles. Anay, ano pa kaya ang masasabi natin dito sa ating first artist? Siyempre, Kyla, ang ating first artist ay nakapag-release ng single with the title I Worry Too Much in YouTube and SoundCloud. She also does demos and music covers since 2019. Some of these are Muni Muni Sayo, Chloe Moriantos, Ghost Adventure, Spirit Orb, Bruni Majors Nothing, and so much more. Napaka-amazing naman! At alam niyo rin ba na siya ay marunong tumugtog ng ukulele and guitar? Talaga! Iba talaga ang ating mga artist na nakakasama at nakakasama. Sila ay talented at namulat sa pagmamahal sa singing. 100% correct ka dyan, partner. That is why let us welcome and give a hand to our first guest artist, Lara. Hi, Lara! Hi, po! Hi. Ayun, welcome po to our event. But um, before we proceed to the main part, di ba, Kyla? Mayroon na akong napanggat kanina na isa pang surprise. Nako, Anayi, fresh na fresh pa sa isip ko iyon. Not just one, but two. Iyan ang ating mga makakasama sa gabing ito. That is why ipapakilala naman na natin ang ating second guest artist for this week. In short, partner, dalawa sa iisang event ang matutunghaya ng ating mga mananood. Ayan. Sabi na ni Kyla, our second guest artist is also a musician from Canon City. She also plays ukulele and guitar. In Spotify, she has released a single entitled The Breakfast Tune. Mayroon din siyang original na release on YouTube with the title Like Rain Won't Fall. Nakaka-inspire naman. Anahi, alam mo rin na bukod sa ukulele and guitar ay marunong din siya sa keyboard. And just to add, mayroon din siyang several covers sa YouTube. Some are Loving You by Mimi Riperton, Love Never Felt So Good, Just the Two of Us by, Will, by Bill Withers, Fever, and many more. Kaya naman, let us also welcome and give a virtual clap to our second guest artist, Muffin. Okay, hello Ayun. po! Hi, Thank Muffin! Thank you for having me here. Ayun, sobrang masaya rin kami na nag-guest kayo. So ayun, before tayo magpatuloy, siguro first muna ay si Lara. Can you tell us more about yourself? Ganon. Oh, okay. Hello, um, I'm Lara Mateo, but you could just call me Lara. 
I'm 16 years old and like nabanggit kanina, I'm from Rizal. But prior to Rizal, I used to live in Makati. A lot of the influences that parang um, shaped me today are from the OPM scene. Hindi ko muna babanggitin uh, kung sakali. Pero I, I've started um, doing covers yun nga, since 2019. And I've had several demos, pero wala pa akong re-release kasi I've been thinking, oh, um, siguro, let's, I was thinking na parang it would be better if I had more skill na siguro. So, uh, bali yung nagawa ko is I just started doing covers until it got to the point that, oh, I think kaya ko na tong i-record, i-arrange yung mga Ayun, siguro this time, let's hear from Muffin naman. Hi, so I'm Muffin, and uh, like mentioned before, I do have um, a song on Spotify and a bunch of covers on YouTube. I also have a few demos on SoundCloud, which is where I initially started um, uh, releasing my originals. And um, I've been doing music since I was about two uh from from then on i just uh developed from learning new instruments and then writing songs and yeah i m- music is my favorite thing to do so i am ayun grabe talagang overloaded na sa welcome ang ating kasamang artist sa atin din viewers feel free to comment ang inyong mga pagbate sa ating guests I agree. Keep it coming lang po. At habang nagko-comment sila, ano, ay tatanungin po muna natin ulit si Lara at Muffin. Kumusta naman po kayo and what do you feel right now? Okay, siguro this time let's start with Muffin. Okay, I'm feeling okay naman. A uh, little nervous but mostly excited. It's my first time to be in this kind of setting. So, ayun. Okay, what and then Lara? How about you? Po? Uh, same po as Muffin actually. I'm a little nervous, but then I'm doing all right, naman po. I'm actually glad nga na nasabayan po kami ni Muffin for this interview, kasi it's been a while since I've last done this. Po. Ayun, thank you so much po for the warm up palang ayon. Now we will dive into the real part. Partner, ikaw naman. Oo nga eh. For us to know the artists more and about their music, syempre, let us go to the Q&A portion. Okay, sige. Sisimulan na ba natin, partner, ang ating Q&A portion? Tara na, na-excite na akong makilala ang ating mga guests for tonight. Okay po. So, let us start with question number one. So, unang-una, who inspired you to make music? So... Paano ba ang ating uh, gagawin partner? May volunteers ba? Or siguro may uunahin muna tayo? Siguro ano, i-alternate na lang natin. Siguro this time mauna si Lara and then mamaya na mauna si Muffin. Okay. Sige po. Alright, so... Um, my influences or like the people or things that have inspired me to make music. Like what was mentioned kanina, I usually get inspired by the things I feel or the thoughts that I have and I turn those into music but as for the people that have inspired me to create music I would say it's a a lot of my music was inspired by both local acts and global acts so for global acts siguro mga like usually among artists like Clara Benin, Muni Muni, The Ridleys, uh, sino pa? Ben and Ben, and sina Reese Lansangan, yung mga usual na nakikita pa sa OPM. As for global acts, I've been inspired siguro by Jacob Collier, Dodi, Chloe Mariondo, Cave Town, and Conan Gray po siguro. Ayun, so napakarami pong na-mention sa atin ni Lara. At talaga namang makakatulong po talaga ito. Ngayon din sa ating mga aspiring artist, ano? 
na magkaroon din ng background sa ilang iba't ibang mga artists na na-mention sa ating kanina. So, thank you po, Lara. And now, let us move on to Mosin. Uh, siguro, i-repeat na lang ulit namin yung question. So, once again, who inspired you to make music? Ayan. So, thank you for that question. Um, I've been performing and uh, making music since for a while na. So, um, I guess uh, inspirations um, would mainly be my family and their taste in music initially. So, syempre, uh, the old but goldies and like the Beatles uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I really like those artists and uh, same like Lara, I'm uh, I'm into a lot of OPM and indie. Uh, I'm usually more into whole genres than specific artists and ayun, so I just consume a lot of music uh, usually and then I just translate that into my own way. So I ayun. ayun. So thank you so much again to Muffin for answering our question. So gaya nga rin sa, ng sabi sa ating kanina part na ano. Eh, um, mas maganda rin na na-expose din tayo sa iba't ibang mga artist para din uh, ma-apply din natin yun sa ating craft. So, Anahi, ano ba yung ating second question? Ayan, for our second question, and mauna si Muffin this time na sumagat. Um, for our second question, what is your favorite song to perform? Oh, that's uh, that's a hard uh, question. It because it depends sa mood. Probably um, sometimes I feel like doing a ballad. In which case, um, probably you're still the one by Shania Twain. Sometimes I like um, really letting my voice out. So in that case, that would be maybe um, still into you, Paramore. So ayon po. Mga ano, no, favorite tracks rin natin yung mga kantang yan. Shania Twain and um, Paramore. And ayun, this time naman, um, Lara, what is your favorite song to perform? My favorite song or songs to perform since uh, usually like what Muffin said, it depends talaga on how I feel or what the theme of the gig or event is. Usually, uh, whenever um, there's no set theme, and whenever I don't really feel like exerting much voice so that I don't get tired easily, I usually go for either wine or I worry too much. Um, as for whenever I like to exert more effort, I'd say Marilag by Muni Muni, or Siguro. Marilag by Muni Muni or Sayo by Muni Muni, it, but it really depends. Usually it um, varies both from time to time, depending as well on the music that I listen to. That's really nice. Now, partner, and the way yung pangatlo nating tanong dyan for our guest tonight. Okay, so our next question natin is, ano po yung... Or kung makakausap niyo po yung inyong fans right now, ano po yung message? na maibibigay po ninyo sa kanila. Uh, one message. Okay, so let's start with Lara. Uh, sino nga ba yung huli natin partner? Si Lara, no? Tama? Okay, let's start with Lara. Ano po, something I would say to the people that listen to my music are una sa lahat, thank you. <laughs> uh, since you simply listening to my music whether you like it or not already means a lot to me and to those who have been continuously supporting me again thank you talaga i hope that you guys are doing okay i hope you're taking care of yourselves especially at this time and i hope that whatever it is you're dealing with right now you're going to be able to overcome it i believe in you <laughs> Uh, thank you so much po. Napaka-sweet naman talaga ni Lara. And now, punta po tayo kay Muffin. And so, um, a message that I would say for the people who listen to my music is thank you sa God. <laughs> Kasi um, as of now, I'm still, you know, experimenting with genres. So, um, if you like my music now, <laughs> I, <laughs> I know, man, it's, it's super nakakataba ng puso and 
Ayun, I hope that you keep supporting me uh, throughout my musical journey and ayun, wag sana kayo magalit if I don't put out music soon. <laughs> uh, cuz you know, it's it's a really trying time right now and ayun, I'm I really just want to make music that um not only music not only music that I like also music that would inspire other people to go to, to make music and so ayan yeah, thank you po at talaga naman no na talaga naman na susuportahan tayo ng ating mga fans uh, whenever na mapunta tayo sa ating journey so once again thank you po for answering our question and of course ay dadako na rin tayo sa sunod nating question and I Ayan, for the next question, Muffin, who is your favorite singer or band? Ah, and dami. Um, so many. Kasi, ayun, like I said before, hindi ako masyado on specific artists talaga, more on genres like R&B, jazz. Uh, but siguro, first thing that comes to mind, uh, for a group, The Beatles, kasi dati talaga, I was such a super, super stan, as in, annoying stan uh, and favorite artist siguro Amy Winehouse very old soul naman pala ito si Muffin ayan for Lara well who is your favorite singer or band hirap na man wait lang ano po um, since singer or band yun na lang yun right now I like uh, Marty Franco's song uh, especially because Kaka release lang po niya. As for band, uh, I feel like it's already been obvious. I I really like Muni Muni talaga. So. Yon, makikita talaga natin or mas makikilala talaga natin tong mga guests natin for tonight sa ano no, based sa kanilang mga um, sagot at lalo na ito na sa mga about sa kanilang favorite singer or band. Mm-hmm. So ayun, partner, ano ba ang ating last question? Ayun, ang last question natin, actually, Hindi pa pala ito yung ating last question. Ayun, may unahin muna kami, tapos mamaya may pinaka-last na tayo na interesting din. So, ito po yung question namin. What makes you different from other musicians? Ayun, so medyo mahirap siguro sa uh, ilan po sa atin. Pero sige, uh, let's start na rin po kay Lara. What would make me different from other musicians? Siguro, honestly, I feel like, ano kasi, I feel like I am, tao nito, the average of like what I usually listen to. So this is a really tough question. But if I were to choose something that I find na parang uh, I don't see in other musicians usually is I make sure that um, I make sure na parang I'm like super duper satisfied with what I create before I get it out there as in in the sense na parang I'll make sure na I like this long term but I don't think na it's super duper unique because I, I know that there are other people na ganun. pero considering the range of the people I listen to siguro ganun po yung sa okay so parang uh, somehow similar din po sa mga pinapakinggan ni Lara and okay and dako naman po tayo kay Muffin so, i-repeat ko lang po ulit yung ating question. What makes you different from other musicians? Ayun, uh, thank you for the question. It's a hard one, but I guess um, probably my willingness to try other genres, um, versatility. Um, I don't really like being put into just one specific box na, okay, this is I'm just a jazz musician or I'm just an indie musician. I I like doing other things, uh, especially if people like didn't exactly expect it of me. But it's still good. I, I'm still happy with it, especially um, with the like like Lara with the range of 
artists that I listen to, sh- I, I like to um, take uh, pieces of their art and sort of recycle it. So I guess you know, versatility. Okay, tumpak na tumpak po ano, and for sure makakarelate din po yung ilan sa atin ng mga artists. Okay, and lastly po, partner, napaka, mukhang mahirap talaga tong last question natin, ano? So, babasahin po namin. Parang actually lahat nga ng question medyo nahirapan ang ating mga artists, pero masaya naman. So, ang last question po namin, if you would be given a chance to plan your first concert, Where would it be and why? Okay, so ang huling sumagot po kanina ay si Muffin. So ngayon ay sisimulan naman po ulit ni Muffin. Okay. Okay. Um, ang hirap ng tanong. But <laughs> siguro, okay. It's, I'm really proud that I come from this country. Especially this city. So if I were to plan my first concert, I would probably want to have it somewhere around here. It doesn't really matter um, if it's like a small cafe or bar or if it's a whole stadium na kung arenete na. Pero yeah, basta nandito, I would be really happy with that. Okay, so sa Philippines, actually magandang start po yan, ano? So thank you po, Muffin. And now, Lara. Actually, uh, like what? Muffin said it would be nice to have it uh, where you're from. But in my case, I don't really have a set preference at this time. Parang as long as I, um, as long as I know and love the place personally, or if the place has this kind of parang spot in my heart, na parang uy, it would be nice to perform here because it brings sentimental value to me and I hope and I'm pretty sure naman na it can accommodate an audience it doesn't the size of the audience or the size of the venue doesn't really matter but uh, siguro something that I'd consider is within yung Greater Manila area pa. okay so area of course and may parang follow up question lang din po ako dito so Siyempre, uh, kung ipaplano niyo rin po yung concert niyo, may naisip ba kayong parang somehow design or vibe ng concert niyo? Parang, I'm sorry, ano yung mga dapat na parang makita siguro? Parang chill lang ba? Or parang magara? What do you think po? Sige, start, uh, sige, start po ulit tayo kay Lara. For me, Uh, the first thing that popped in my mind was yung was like yung sa 19 East where they have that LED things about uh, liquid. But at the same time, uh, siguro it would also be nice to parang accentuate it with like fairy lights. I, that was like the second thing that popped into my mind. Other than that, ang um, naisip ko rin was like a dress and pats type of aesthetic. Na parang it's not super. How do I say this? Maangas na parang bar type. Parang the vibe that I was thinking was siguro like a cafe or siguro based off of uh, I Rose Up Slowly. Yung I Rose Up Slowly EP launch ni Clara sa 19 East, as well as yung mascara launch ng Indayo sa Jason Pat. Something like that. Ayun so. Partner, ano bang masasabi mo dito? Kasi ako nai-imagine ko na at parang gustong gusto ko na talagang mag-face-to-face at mapakinggan yung ating mga artists. Nako, sa description pa lang ni Lara ng gusto niyang vibe na sa kanyang first mm-hmm. concert, di ba? Hindi naman natin masabi kung kailan, parin natin, di ba? Pag-face-to-face, mm-hmm. meron yan sa Lara or si Muffin. So, ayun, parang gusto ko na rin kumatin, di ba? Kasi since as a part of this, um, project na kinikinig rin naman tayo sa mga musika ng mga tila dila na starting in the um starting the ba sa indie music sa ganitong larangan so ayun nakaka-excite ikaw ba partner ayun ganun din same with you kaya syempre kapag magko-concert na talaga ang ating artists si Lara at Muffin talaga namang pupuntahan natin yan pero hindi pa pala natin natatanong si Muffin so for you po ano po yung naiisip niyo design or vibe ng inyong magiging concert kung ikaw po yung magpa-plano nito. 
Um, siguro it depends on the venue. Because like I said, I'm not really picky if it were in a small setting lang or in a big one. Pero siguro if it was a small, intimate um, uh, restaurant or bar, ganun, probably... Um, Probably like Lara, fairy lights. I do like fairy lights, Ren. And I guess I just I would be more into. There has to be a wide selection of musicians uh, with me, because I've tried performing on this really big stage alone before, and nakatahot. <laughs> so uh, especially with the kind of music that I want to make. Um, it does need a, like a lot of people performing at the same time. So, siguro, um, uh, I would just want a big enough space with enough instruments where people get. I want like um, a very casual jamming vibe. So, ayon, ayon po. Ayun, parang naalala namin dun sa mga description ni Nalara at Muffin yung place sa Katipunan pero we're not sure, hindi ko sure kung ano yung tawag dun eh. Pero yun, nakakamiss talaga dahil parang nire-reminis natin yung mga music festivals and yung mga jammings natin na on face-to-face. And of course, ayun po, mag- parang uh, aabangan natin yan yung sa bahagi ni Mofin na may mga kasama rin sila and yung line-up ng mga artist. So ayun, uh, partner, saan na ba tayo papunta? At ayun na nga, dito na nga nagtatapos na ang ating Q&A portion with Laura and Muffin, kung saan mas nakilala natin sila and their music which is very inspiring. Pero kaila mga papa, wait, there's more tayo. Ano ba yun? Ano bang next? <laughs> ayun, kaya for this next part ay magkakaroon tayo ng isang palaro. Pero bago tayo magsisimula, ay pwede po ba namin kayong marinig na magsabi ng I am ready. Kung handa na po kayo? Okay. Pwede po kayo sabay kahit ano po. Ready na po ba kayo? <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Ayun. I'm ready, ready na rin. <laughs> Ayan. Ready na rin sila. Ang lakas naman po ng fighting spirit ni na partner. Ano? Kaya naman, simulan na po natin. Ang ating magiging mini game for tonight ay guess the zoomed in pictures. Partner, ano kaya yung ating mechanics? Ayun, mayroong zoomed in pictures na makikita sa ating presentation sa screen later and every item po meron kayo 10 seconds um, allotted para sagutin ayun or halaan. And then magpapaunahan kayo sa pagsagot. Siyempre may Gcash. Char- charot lang. <laughs> Wala ba tayong funds for that? Pero pag meron na, bakit hindi, di ba? So ano partner, start na ba tayo? Oo naman partner, ano? Pero bago yan, pad- last na last na, pwede po ba namin makita na mag-thumbs up si Nalaro at Muffin? Okay, nag-thumbs up na sila. Yay! Kaya naman, simulan na po natin sa ating first item. Naku, ano kaya to? Zoom din picture ng aso ko, si Scarlett. I was thinking parang fur po or kaya parang na bleach na buhok. Ay, ay, ko po bakit, pero um, siguro ganun po yung ko based on yung tone. <laughs> So ayun, tech or ano, ano bang ano? At ikaw ba, Arjan, ano bang hula mo pala muna? Ayun eh, para ang hula ko rin ay siguro pwedeng animal or pwedeng buhok. Pero hindi ko muna talaga sasabihin, syempre. Hintayin po siguro natin, no? Ayun. <laughs> ayun po so, ang ating tamang sagot. Mukhang hindi ka mukha ni Scarlett. <laughs> Oo, pero na, na, na. niya yan. Oh, so cute, no? So, ang um, answer po natin for this item ay cat. Ayun. So, at least, diba, na-try po natin. So, ayun. Maganda. Okay po. Ngayon, syempre, hindi pa po tayo nagtatapos dyan. At dadako na tayo sa ating second item. So, pwede po kayong uh, mag- uh, maghula habang tumatakbo po yung order. So, let's start. 
कलर्ड पेंसिल हो गया Yeah, ganon yun hula ko. Colored yeah, pencil ayun. or makeup, <laughs> ganon. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so ayun, hintayin na lang rin natin. Pero feeling ko nga, uh, colored pencil nga rin siya. Very obvious naman. Hintayin na lang rin natin sa text na flash the picture. Ayan, color pencil nga. <laughs> Ayan nga. Ang bilis nga rin, eh, narinig ko kasi si Lara kanina kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Pagka-flash ay biglang, eh, ayun, no? nahulaan. So, good job. Ayan. So, Oo. Partner, ano yung ating third item? Mukhang Ayan, nagagamit din ito ng ating mga musicians. Totoo. So, wait na lang yun natin. Mike? Naisa ko parang gitara eh. Pero pwede rin parang <laughs> mic din ba? Uh, probably. Sige, tayo na lang yun natin. Plus, pero please naman nila kung Ano? Opo, ang bilis nga eh. Sige, tingnan natin sa ating... Ayan, napakita na. Ang ating third item ay microphone. So, napakagaling po talaga, no? Ang bilis nilang hulaan. <laughs> Sige. And, ano po ba yung ating last item? sa table tapos mm. yung yun nilalagyan po ng ano pagkain mm-hmm. tapos yung ikot nila ako nilal- parang ganun siya <laughs> hindi rin namin alam so ano ba yan mukhang serious na rin pati yung mga host oh, ayan na review okay. na mas <laughs> <laughs> pa na ang hirap nung nakazoom in diba yun nakakaloka so ayan ano bang next ayan pinapan ulit na Headphones? Parang, yeah, parang siyang headphones kasi yung, ano, yung, parang parang siyang jack. So. Okay. Ano ba, ano ba? Medyo hindi ko rin, hindi ko maala kung ano yung nasa picture eh. So, feeling ko naman yeah, naman naman this time ang ating mga guests. Ang hirap, hirap, joke lang. <laughs> Medyo, pati yung host pinahilaman tonight sa ating game. <laughs> Oo, pero in fairness, so, like, ano, ano pa yan? Yun? Oo. Oh, headphones Ayan. niya. Ang galing naman nila. Ang <laughs> galing nila. Nakulaan nila agad. So, ayun. Ayan nga. Nag-enjoy ba ang ating mga guests? Kasi ako as a host, nag-enjoy rin ako sa ating kayo. <laughs> Medyo, ano, nakakalaw kayong dun sa may, ano, guitar pick. Medyo nahihirapan na kapag move on sa kanya. So, ayun na nga. Mm-hmm. Partner, ano bang next? Alam ko, pinakahihintay ito ng lahat, eh. Ayan. Pero muli, maraming maraming salamat po, Pinalara at Muffet. Kahit pa paano, sana nag-enjoy po kayo sa ating mini-game. At nahirapan talaga sila doon sa ating first item. Ano? Ayan. At, si Scarlett. Ka- Oo, gaya nga rin na sa ating ni Anay sa akin. Mm-hmm, yung cat version. Kaya naman, pupunta na tayo sa uh, moment na pinakahihintay ng lahat. So, uunahin muna natin ang live performance ni Lara ngayong gabi. Hello, I'm Lara and I will be singing two songs for today. They're both originals and I hope you like them. Also, I'd like to thank What's Up PH for having me. It was an honor to be interviewed for Monday Jukebox. This first song is I Worry Too Much and it's my debut single. You can find it on all digital streaming platforms if you want to listen to a studio version of it. So, yeah. Oh 
Thank you. That was I worry too much by yours truly, and you can find it on all digital streaming platforms. My second song and my last song would be an original, and I wrote this back when I was palpitating, and obviously it's because of coffee. So I wrote about it, and this is caffeinated. I hope you like it.
that was caffeinated and I hope you like it. Once again, I'm Lara and thank you was up page for having me. <laughs> if you want to listen to caffeinated, you could listen to it on my SoundCloud. If you search for Lara, you spell that as L-A-R-U-H, you'll be able to find a demo of caffeinated there. Once again, thank you as a PH for giving me this opportunity to be interviewed and to perform on your show. It's such an honor. And that's Laura with her uh, great performance for tonight. And not just that, di ba? Kasama rin natin si Mopin ngayon. And um, mapapanood din natin siyang mag-perform. Let us all give them a round of applause and support them here in our comment section sa ating mga live viewers. Here's Mopin with her performance. Okay. Hello. I am going to be singing um, a sort of different rendition of my original song called The Breakfast Tune. By the way, that's available on Spotify and Apple Music and basically everywhere. So I hope you stream that and I also hope you like this rendition. So, okay. How do you like your eggs in the morning? How would you like to be kissed when you're yawning? I could get your eggs as sunny as your desolate smile scrambled as the way you make me feel inside I never learned to cook had every meal handed to me on a silver platter and every time I try I said the entire kid on fire But how do you like your eggs in the morning Babe, let me try I could get a meal for me Every recipe I can find you that I'll peruse. Even if I spill some milk and fall and trip and get a bruise, I never learned to love, and if I'm honest, I'm still trying to learn. It's a lot like keeping your head from the pen so you won't get a burn. There's spices and there's condiments, and if you leave it well alone, it could get cold. It needs your rapt attention and some tender care and warmth like a stove. So how do you like your eggs in the morning? How would you like to be kissed when you're yawning? I could get you eggs as sunny as your dazzling smile Or as grappled as the way you make me feel
And that's Lara and Muffin, our guests for tonight with such great performances. Grabe talaga part niya, ano. Tignan, uh, gaya nga nang nakita natin kanina, nag-enjoy ang ating mga viewers dito sa ginawa nilang performances. At siguradong sigurado nga na nag-enjoy sila, nakisabay, at namangha sa ating episode sa Monday Jukebox. Totoo, our live viewers and us from whatsapp.ph are looking forward po kay Muffin and Lara to have um have both of you rin as a guest diba, sa mga feature show namin and syempre ma-promote rin kayo and your music pag nag-release naman kayo. And yun, tilasin more nga sa inyo pang mga i-release ng musika. Ayan, and now let's give the floor to Lara and Muffin. Uh, pwede po kayong uh, magsabi po, especially if you have anything to add, give thanks to, or promote. So, sige, let's start po with Muffin. Ayan, so, um, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's uh, supporting me, uh, continue uh, continuing to support me and uh, thank you for uh, what's up PH and for you lovely hosts Bo, for um, giving me a chance to um, speak here and perform here it was very nice Bo. and um, please continue listening to my song called The Breakfast Tune that's available on Spotify Apple Music uh, and also on YouTube so I am Bo. thank you and for Lara Uh, I'd also like to thank Plaza PH and our lovely host Dimpa for having me here and I'd like to um, thank then the listeners who got to tune in to today's episode. I'm glad then uh, I got to be interviewed with Muffin whom I parang medyo sabay released with. Speaking of release, you could find my debut single, I Worry Too Much, on all digital streaming platforms. But if you want to listen to other of my music, you can find me as Lara, you spell that as L-A-R-U-H, on pretty much everywhere. But if you want to find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, that's Larissa, and you spell that as L-U-H-R-E-E-S-A-H. Thank you once again for having me. Ayun. Maraming salamat, Lara and Muffin. Sobrang kaming mga host and surely ang ating mga live viewers ay nag-enjoy ngayong gabi na nakilala kayo, di ba? At syempre, napakinggan kayo. At ayun, um, sana may mga aabangan pa rin kami mga musika sa inyo. Ayan. At kami sa whatsapp.eh will surely promote yung mga i-release nyo. Ikaw ba, host? Ang ating aking co-host, si Rizal. <laughs> Ayan, actually, nasabi na lahat ni Anaya, no? And once again, nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyo, Lara and Muffin, dahil kahit sa maikli panahon ay nakasama po namin kayo. Together with our live viewers, talaga namang nag-enjoy ang bawat isa sa atin. And for sure, papakinggan, susuportahan namin yung inyo pong mga music. Kaya good luck po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, maraming salamat po. And then, yun na nga, dito nga po nagtatapos ang ating uh, ang Monday Jukebox for tonight. Maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Ayan. Hoy po. Thank you po. Maraming salamat.